Hello friends, welcome to today's machine learning class and in this class we will see the most popular Vapnik Charvon and Kiss dimensions that is VC dimension. Okay. So, uh, here we will see what is VC dimension and then uh, the linear classifier with the 2 data points and 3 data points. After that uh, we will see the rectangular classifier with 4 data points and then we will see the textbook example for VC dimension. The VC dimension is the measure of capacity or the complexity of space of a function that can be learned by classification algorithm. So, this is called as VC dimension. Okay. The definition of VC dimension is the capacity. We need to compute the capacity of classification algorithm and which defines the maximum cardinality of the points that the algorithm is able to shatter this is called as VC dimension. Let us see example for this VC dimension. First let us take the linear classifier with two data points. Okay, We will take the binary classifier. In the binary classifier the first class is class A that is the positive class and another one is class B that is the negative class. Okay, And we are having only two data points. See let us take these two data points. The green color are class A and the red color are class B. Okay. And the possible combinations of data points are 2 power n. Okay. How many data points we are having? 2 data points. So, how many combinations of data points we are having? 2 power 2. Okay. That is 4 possible combinations. So, this is the first one both positive and second one 1 positive and 1 negative and third one first is negative and second is positive and the fourth one both are negative data points and right. So, in all the cases linear classifier can separate the positive and negative data points without any conflict. Okay. So, the linear classifier line is drawn here and above the line are only the positive data points and below the line are negative data points. Here one is from positive side and another one is from negative side. When come to the third section, the green is positive side and the red is negative side and the last one, the line above are positive and below are negative. Okay. So, we can easily classify with a linear classifier when the data points are only 2. And next let us see the linear classifier with 3 data points. Okay, 3 data points A comma B comma C. Okay, 3 data points are there and again we are using the same binary classification 2 classes class A and class B. Class A is positive class, class B is negative class and suppose we are having 3 data points then we are having 2 power 3 that is 8 possible combinations of data are there. Let us see all these things one by one. First in the first case this is A, B, C. Okay. This is the first case. Here all the data points are 1 that is all the data points are in the class A. Then by using a linear classifier that is by using a line we can easily separate the class A from class B. Okay. The data points below the class line are class A and above the line are class B. Okay. Now A is negative and B and C are positive. Next combination. Again we can use the same line for classifying these two data types. The points below the line are class A that is 1 and above the line are class B that is 0. And now the data points A and C are positive and B is negative. Okay. Here also by using a line we can easily separate these two classes. Okay, Likewise this is A, B are positive and C is negative. Here A is positive, B and C are negative and here A and B are negative, uh, C is positive. Here A and C are negative, B is positive. Here all the data points are negative. Okay, In any of these combination by using a linear classifier we can easily classify the data points. Okay. Now when come to the another uh, combination for example 
this is A, A is positive, this is B, B is negative and this is C, C is positive. The data points placed like this, okay. by using a linear classifier we cannot classify, this is not at all possible. And another option is also there, this is negative, A is negative, B is positive and C is negative again. Okay. If the data points placed like this, again by using a linear classifier, we cannot classify the data points. Okay. So, this is the problem in 3 data points by using the linear classifier. And now, let us increase one more data point in this linear classifier that is with 4 data points. If we increase one data point, then the number of combinations will be increased to 2 power 4 that is 16 possible combinations. So, in these two cases, a single linear classification is not at all possible to shatter the two classes. Okay. So, maximum we can use only the 3 data points by using the linear classifier. To overcome the drawback of linear classifier, we will move to rectangle classifier here. When come to 4 data points, the rectangle classifier can easily shatter all the possible ways. Okay. And this is very important here. The data points may be either positive or negative labeled. And inside the rectangle are positive data points positive data points and outside the rectangle are negative data points. Okay. Okay. Here we are having 4 uh, data points A, B, C, D. Okay. Let us come to the first case. All the data points are positive. We can use a single rectangle which includes all the 4 data points. Okay. We can draw a single rectangle which covers the entire data points. Okay, this is the first case. When come to second case, all the data points are negative. Okay, what we have to do? Let us take another color pen. Take this color. Right? See, I can use, I can draw the rectangle like this. All the outside data are negative and inside are positive. That is the empty rectangle. Okay, next come to the third option. 3 points are negative and 1 is positive. Okay. 1 is positive, all the 3 are negative. Suppose if the point is like this, how can we classify? We can draw a rectangle like this. We can draw a rectangle like this. Suppose if this one is positive and this is negative means we can draw another rectangle like this. We can easily classify. Okay. When come to the fourth option, 3 data points are positive and 1 is negative. How can we draw this? Let us take another pen. See, one, 3 positive and 1 is negative. How can we classify? See, we can classify like this. Otherwise, if this is positive and these are negative, then also we can easily classify. So, wherever it is, we can easily classify by using a, a rectangle classifier. The last option, 2 points are positive and 2 points are negative. Okay, again, we can use the rectangle classifier. This is the first option. This is A, B, C, D. If A, B are positive, C, D are negative, we can classify like this. If, if B and C are positive and other two are negative, if A and C are positive and other two are negative, if B and D are positive and other two are negative, we can easily classify. And now let us increase one data point uh, from our classifier. Then we are having 2 power 5 different combinations are there. That is 32 different combinations will be there. For example, this is our plot A, B, C, D and E. Right? 
if a if all the data points are positive or all the data points are negative we can easily classify if all are positive then we can draw a single rectangle which includes all the data points okay inside the rectangle are positive that is class a and outside the rectangle are class b if all the data points are negative then also we can easily classify a empty rectangle okay inside the rectangle are class a outside the rectangle are class b so in another case see this is positive 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 and this is negative so when come to this particular case by using a rectangular classifier we cannot scatter this right and now let us see the summary of vc dimension a data set which contains n data points and 2 power n possible ways of combinations will be there positive and negative combinations and the hypothesis h belongs to capital h that separates the positive samples from the negative samples that means h shatters n points h h means hypothesis hypothesis shatters n points the maximum number of points that can be shattered by h is called as vc dimension this is important okay vc dimension means the maximum number of points can be shattered by this given hypothesis and which is denoted by vc of h the capacity that is the measuring capacity of h okay this is called as vc dimension and this is the textbook example for uh, rectangle scatter uh, four data points and this is a b c d within the single diagram we can scatter uh, all the four data points this is the first rectangle first rectangle here see this one this one that is a c r positive b d r negative inside the rectangle are positive points outside the rectangle are negative points and this is the second rectangle here b and d are positive a and c are negative and this is the third rectangle here a b are positive c d are negative and this is the fourth rectangle here b c are positive a d are negative this is the fifth rectangle here c d are positive a b are negative and this is the sixth rectangle here a d are positive and b c are negative up to this we have seen the vc dimension that is the definition of vc dimension and the vc dimension with the linear classifier with the two points three points as well as four point and rectangle classifier with the four points okay for uh, more information please go through your textbook thank you